Tell us your full name, please. Michael James Lindell. Well, good morning, Mr. Lindell. My name is Charlie Kane. We met for the first time about... Who's paying you? About four minutes ago. Okay. Go on. Is that right? What's it? Is that right? Is what, what was the question? We met for the first time. Yes, yes. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start slow. Because the court reporter is trying to take down what you're saying, okay? Don't sit and scold me already, mister. I'll do, I'll do whatever I have to do. So I don't, you're not, you're just a lawyer. You're an ambulance chasing lawyer. So don't start with me. I got all day. I'll take as much time as you want. So let's go. You're not my boss. You're just a lawyer, frivolous lawyer. So go. Don't start you know scolding this... me. Oh, I'm asking questions. I'm not mm -hmm. going to scold you. Go ahead. So let me finish my question, okay? Yes. I tend to be a slow talker. Good for you. I'm from Texas originally. Good for you. I got all day. We'll, we'll make a week of this. How about that? Go ahead. Probably up to your lawyer, but I'm happy to stay as long as you'd like. Just keep going. All right. Why'd you call me an ambulance chaser? What? Why did you call me an ambulance chaser? Because you are. This is a frivolous case, and if you're representing this guy and you've read this case, you are a disgusting lawyer. Period. There's my. That's my. That's my right to say. You want to sue me too, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Are you working on contingency or consignment with the guy? What do you? No, I can't believe anybody would take this. This is absolutely disgusting. It's a disgrace to our country. It's a disgrace to you. Anything else? No, that's it. You asked me a question. I answered it. All right. I said objection, non-responsive. Let me, oh, let like me that, explain huh? a few more things to you. <laughs> what? Let me explain a few more things to you. Mm -hmm. Have you given a deposition before like this? I've given a ton of depositions. Okay. So you, you understand the process somewhat. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Okay. When I ask you a question, you need to do your best to respond only to my question. Are you going to arrest me? I'll you say whatever I want, that. and if we have extra, that's do that. There's no rule that says I can't give a full answer. I'm so not, you know, I'm telling you the rules. Have you ever been in a deposition where they can't stand who you are? Have you? A lot more than you, sir. Okay, good. Keep going. Right. Don't tell me about my depositions. You're not my boss. You're just some frivolous lawyer in here, and you put, bring in this frivolous case to me, and especially against a company that had nothing to do with anything. Right. You're disgusting. Keep going. I want you to understand another thing. What's that? This case is pending in federal court. I don't in Colorado. care. What does that have to do with anything? Do you understand that? Yes. All right. Um, there's a federal judge that's going to likely be reading and watching this deposition. Do I don't you care. understand that. I don't care. She should have dismissed this a long time ago. Okay. She's a, she hasn't ruled on that. There's a problem. I got a problem with her too. The judge has practice standards on how... No, the judge special. did not dismiss this case. We put in to get it dismissed, and she ruled an unfair ruling saying, well, go ahead and do discovery and waste all your time while I'm sitting there not doing nothing. That's what that judge is doing. So don't tell me what the judge is doing, and you just let me worry about the judge reading this, okay? I just want you to understand that. No, you, 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 be don't, you just don't worry about me. You're not out for my benefit, okay? He can, he's out for my benefit, not you. So you can, don't worry if I say something that offends the judge, okay? You just let me worry about that. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good, keep going. The reason I bring that up, sir, is if the judge is not pleased with your conduct in this deposition, there may be penalties associated with Okay, good, with you tell her, you go ahead. And you, you Thank you for the, you're worrying about old Mike. You're, you're really, it's great. It you're seems welcome. like you bring a frivolous case up. You really have my back. Go ahead. Keep going. That judge, you put this in the record, that judge, it's a big problem I got. If someone didn't have the money or time to sit through this garbage, when I put into her summary judgment last summer and she hasn't ruled on it, either say yay or nay. It's disgusting. It's disgusting to our country. That she couldn't make a ruling. Go, go ahead and do deposition. If it was some guy that didn't have money, you would put them under just in this garbage. Wasting my day. Wasting my time. But think if it was someone on the street. Don't you care about people? This is disgusting. This judge should have ruled a long time ago that you're yay or nay. Frivolous or not. 
but she didn't. She said, go ahead and do discovery while I sit and decide what I'm going to do. That's disgusting. I got no problem with you on that. I got a problem with the judge not making a ruling. So there. Now go ahead. Now that the judge has that on record. Now you don't have to worry about what me and the judge think of each other. All right? Objection, non-responsive. Here's, here's another thing that I'd need you to know, Mr. Lindell. If the court determines that you're not being responsive or acting in good faith today, we may have to come back and do this some more. And I want you to understand that. Oh, I got that. All right. And if that's the case, I will be asking for attorney's fees and costs for oh, you us will, to huh? do it well, I'm already asking for them. I might just come after you guys for the most frivolous case ever when this is done. If there's a way to sue you, believe me, I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, just so you know that, beyond anything you've ever seen. So be prepared. I'm committed to being polite and professional. Okay, today. go ahead. We're All getting right. through that. Now you know where I sit. Let's get on with it. Okay. Um, in other words, if Joe VP Box Guy says, you know what, Mr. Lindell, you shouldn't be out there talking about this um, and also selling this product at the same time. Maybe people could get confused. What do you mean selling that? this product at the same time? I object to that dumb answer. What are you talking about? Well, first, I didn't go out there, melt down our machines and buy a pillow. I mean, that, what, the, what is wrong with you? Anything I do, that's the way that, because I'm so branded. It's like, you know, you're branded as a frivolous lawyer. Anything you do, well, you'll be branded as that, because that's all I know about you right now. So go. I mean, you know, I don't know what you're saying. You're trying to associate that anything I say becomes part of my pillow. That's not true. Hope you get all that. Not sure, Mike. Non-responsive. No, it's disgusting when you so, sit here. So I'm branded Mike, as now Mike. election, not my pillow guy. It's Mike, the opposite. Mike, we just got to slow it down. I know, but reporters. it just That's, pisses me I, off. I understand. They understand. It's so disgusting. You don't remember my question, do you? Yeah, the question is, do people know you as the my pillow guy, blah, blah, blah. I just gave my answer. No, they know me over here as this, this guy that's trying to save our country. But because of lawfare and start dirty things that Eric Coomer did on that one day, which that's when I called him out, I can't go on my stage. I can't. My company has been hurt so bad because of people like this Eric Coomer. So bad. This guy, in tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. You don't remember my question, do you? No, right there, page what 36. Page 36, where you, where I called you lawyers just as bad as him. I called you guys criminals. You did? Yeah, using you know the company, my pillow, to to make that statement, right? Uh, after the lawsuit, Mr. Twister. After I was sued, everything in here in your little lawsuit, other than that one little paragraph. Everything we I said came after to, he sued me. We don't after need to, Coomer served his papers. We don't need to replow that, okay? I've heard you say that. Well, then I'm just telling you. So that's what, you know, using my pillow. After. And, it was a, and it's a joke. You, you know, shoving it back in you guys' face going, oh, you think my pillow benefited from this? Give me a break. Talk to them employees that are trying to support their families. You guys are disgusting. What else you got? It's kind of a sad day for you, isn't it, to see how bad my pillow's sitting and you're trying to make it look like, like this was a, some grand thing to make money. It's just sad. It really is. It's sad. This is probably the most frivolous lawsuit in the history of the United States, and I mean that. I'm, it's shameful that judge did not dismiss this last summer when, she, when it was brought up for dismissal. Shameful. You through? Eric Coomer did this directly to me. And I made one statement about him. Didn't say nothing for a whole year. Then you guys come up and serve me papers in Colorado. Boy, I'll bet there's statements after that, wasn't there? Then everybody knew that what he did to my pillow and Mike Lindell. How dare him come and sue my pillow? He's a scumbag for doing that. Put that in there. Scumbag. S C U M bag. That's what he is, what for what he did to me. Rotten, horrible lawyers like you and the media saying, oh, Mike Lindell's trying to save this country just to make money. I have lost everything I've had so far. You got it? So don't sit here and sit here because I'm not going to take this garbage you're spewing out. This is a horrific what you're doing. I've said it from the start of this thing. It's disgusting.
I've lost millions of dollars. You can't bang on the table because you're. That's why I did. Sorry, I apologize. Did it break the thing? I'm, I just get it. Just get, it's disgusting. I can't believe that you're a lawyer that you would do something like that. You, don't you have a moral compass? I mean, this is bizarre. This whole thing is bizarre. That I did it to make money, but promo codes? Really? All right. Have you ever asked someone on your controller? to give you a, a report like that that just says, hey, I want to see War Room. I want to see everything. Of course I have. Okay, good. Or I can do it myself. You know, I can do it myself. Okay. They're date range. I showed you on my phone. What's wrong with you? I just showed you hey, all the promo let's, codes. Let's not get combative about it. Well, no, I'm, I'm just telling you. You're asking me something. I just showed you how I can do it. This data we've been talking about, is it the same data that that you procured from Patrick Byrne? I didn't purchase anything from Patrick Burns ever. I've never dealt with Patrick Burns on anything, of purchasing any data. What are you talking about? Now, where did this come from? Now you're starting to be stupid. Now you're really asking some questions. Where did you even get that, that I purchased any data from Patrick Burns? This is the most out left field thing I ever heard. What did, what did you want me to say? Oh, no, I didn't purchase it. I never purchased anything or got anything from Patrick Byrne ever. Thank you. Okay, and I'm not asking about the lumpy pillow calls. Uh, no, they're not lumpy pillows. That's not what they call on, okay? That when you say lumpy pillows, now you're an asshole. You got that? You're an asshole Mike, is what you are. Mike, no, sorry. he's an asshole. No, he's an ambulance chasing asshole. That's what you are. The lumpy pillows kiss my ass. Put that in your book. No, they, they answer anything, any problem customer that wants to reach Mike Lindell. Those are the ones. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. They send them to here and they go, or they call about, um, maybe they didn't get their pillow on time because of uh, um, the FedEx or whatever. Well, we'll cover them even though it could be somebody else's fault. Nobody called because of a lumpy pillow. But good, good one, though. You done? Yeah, I'm done. What I'm saying Obviously, is, you don't have a my pillow too. You don't, do you? What I'm saying is, Mr. Lindell... Asshole. I, oh, go ahead. No, I'm pissed. I understand. Yeah, go. When you're saying what? Do you need to take a break? No, I don't need to take a break. All right. Here's what you I'm asking. Uh, your sir. lumpy pillow question kind of set a nerve. Because obviously, just like your question in here, Mike's in your little complaint, Mike's Frivolous uh, cyber symposium. This whole case is frivolous. You should be ashamed of yourself. But go ahead. Finish your question on this and try not to talk about I uh, get personal and, and badmouth my employees or my pillows or anything like that. Go ahead. I haven't said a single word about your employees and I don't own one of your You've attacked pillows. them. You've attacked them. You were part of this. You're getting paid on consignment. You get paid if they get money from my employees. Yes, you have attacked them. You personally did this with Newsmax. You, and I called it right out, the criminal lawyers and Coomer, when you guys did this to me. Thank you. And now you got your answer. You already knew the answer. You just was hoping there was more, I think. It sucks that you're not going to win all this money, huh? And do you feel it slipping away because you're all wrong and, you're, and you realize you shouldn't have done this? I'm not sure you understand how you're perceived. I don't care how you think I'm perceived. Let me tell you how you're perceived. You are perceived as an ambulance. You're the reason what's wrong with this country with lawyers. You're disgraceful is what you are. I read some of the crap in here that you wrote in your brief. It's disgusting. The lies in here. One of them says, after Mike was with Donald Trump in 2017 at a manufacturer summit, he started doing promo codes on Fox. I was doing it 10 years prior. You, this is a big lie. You're a lying lawyer. I had come prepared yesterday, and the record will just reflect what happened yesterday. I don't need to characterize it. Um, but I had come prepared to show you a series of video clips, m many of which you referenced interviews at CNN during the symposium, um, discussions on Bannon's podcast, referencing Eric Coomer. Um, we didn't go through your discovery responses um, because of how yesterday went. A number of emails that I weren't, wasn't able to show you, and I am going to be asking and reserving the right to ask the court to uh, order you to be redeposed on additional issues with additional time.
and I will be seeking. And I'm going to seek taking you to court because of what you've done to my employees. Everything you said comes after you sued me. Everything I said. You're an evil, evil man. There, that's on the record. Very evil. What you've done to my employees, everything that you were going to say comes after you sued me. Everything I said, and I stand by what I said. You're an ambulance chasing lawyer, evil person. You and your Eric Coomer buddy. So you will be sued. Don't worry. And you will be sued big because I won't right, back Mike. down. All right. Anything else? I got better things to do with my life. We're trying to save a country here, not that you guys, families, chase some lawyers trying to get money out of uh, people that had nothing to do with it. My employees, if, they, if, they, if I sat here and they sat here and looked at you guys, they'd say, Who, how could people do this? How could anybody do this to anybody? And, and that's, you know, and did I say, and you wonder why I said that, and I apologize for calling uh, your friend a scumbag, but I'm so upset what you did, not to me, but to my employees. What you did to my employees, why would you do that? But I, you know, I think it's, what you did is horrible. We've done nothing. And you guys, and then you wonder why I sit here. How do you guys sleep at night? You obviously don't have a my pillow. That's a fact, you know. I mean, it's, it, I just can't fathom, and that's why I'm so upset. When I, you, you know how mad I was when I came in here yesterday? You're right, I should have read this, but I've got other things going on in my life that are a lot more important than these frivolous lawsuits. And it's the most important thing to our country ever, to my children, my grandchildren, everything. That's where I'm at. So we can keep going, you know, we'll waste an afternoon. Yes, I, do I think uh, you guys and them are a traitor to our country by what you did to my pillow? Yes, we are made in America. You guys are bizarre. What does this have to do with me? I didn't badmouth Eric Coomer. Maybe, I don't care if Newsmax did or whatever they did to him, that's their business. That's your business with Eric Coomer. I mean, that what they've done to me and what they've done to our country? Absolutely, I stand by that. You guys served me papers. You served, you went against my pillow, served my pillow what? and me papers in a lawsuit. What is you are part of a criminal crime family as far as I'm concerned. Sorry. That could be the dumbest question of the week. Do I think they played a role? Of course they did. And not only you me for billions here, now you got to double down and do it some more. But I guess you all lawyers, the Amherst Chase lawyers, you all need a piece of the pie. I get that. You know, that's nice. It, it's your belief that Mr. Kane and myself are criminals as well. What you did is criminal. And not your criminals, but what you've done is criminal. What you're doing here today is criminal. Absolutely criminal. You're taking money you don't deserve. You're trying to attack people that don't have done nothing to you. And you're wasting my time with a frivolous lawsuit because some judge didn't look at this last summer and get rid of it and say, are you kidding me? You can't sue this guy for this because you went and attacked his company and got him so he can't go on TV. I never talked about Eric Coomer in my life until you did that to Newsmax. And then you served me papers. Everything I said after you served me papers, I stand by it. Coomer's got to be part of it, and you guys are just as criminal what you did to me. Period. That's it. It's the criminal crime family you're describing here that, that Mr. Kane and I are you believe are a part of who else is in that family i don't know maybe you brought it i don't know I haven't checked into that you know maybe that's why you sued me so you don't you know i don't who knows i don't know i said what are they a criminal crime family you know that's what that's what they do when it's all tied together you have the cover-up you got jenna griswold there you got i put the image up for the world to see nobody says anything about it nobody talks about it you sue and attack when you attack somebody, a company that's never done anything to you, that's criminal. You too, it's criminal, guys. I can't get around it. What you did is terrible. It's evil, it's terrible, it's wrong. And that's it. There's things in my life that are a lot more important than frivolous lawsuits. The only one, and I'm not blaming you for the frivolous other than when you put it up, because it should have been done nine months ago with the judge should have looked at this and said, I'm sorry, these guys, this is bizarre, goodbye. And, d and dumped it. And the judge didn't do that. And that's disgusting that she did not dump this. I got one of the, I got one of the best sales guys in the world, but unfortunately he's been trying to save his country while they're attacking his company. Mike, it is of utmost importance, a paramount uh, interest that people like Rudy Giuliani and Mike Lindell are not destroyed in this process because this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to destroy Anybody that steps up in this movement, whether it's Ken Pax in Texas, Mike Lindell in Minnesota, Rudy Giuliani in New York, I don't care if you're a lawyer, attorney general, you're an entrepreneur, you're, you're in their gun sights. 
and they're they're maniacally focused on destroying you. But this employee-owned company is punching back, sir. Tell me about it. Well, Steve, I, I had to dump, j- jump into a room here. I'm in the middle of a deposition for a big attack on my pillow right now. And it's disgusting, these lawsuits against an employee-owned company that my employees, they've done nothing, and, they, and uh, they're just citizens that make them USA products. It's disgusting. And, uh, and this is right in the, of our 20-year anniversary, so we've got two things going on. I do want to thank you again, uh, your audience, Steve, the War Room audience, War Room Posse. Go to my pillow, Use that promo code War Room. You guys can help us so much and help our employees keep their confidence. Uh, we have the 1998 Queen Size My Pillow Anniversary Special. The 29. Uh, there's up to 80 percent off stuff. We're doing a huge sale right now for for the War Room. We put it towards the top of the website. Look for Steve's picture. You guys, we have the we have the My Slippers for like 25 dollars that we're getting. The clothes out there, we have new products, the kitchen towels, saving up to 25%. We have the My Pillow beds, the best beds in history. You haven't even heard about them yet. And uh, we got the Giza Dream Sheets. We've got sheets on sale right now, the Percale. We've got them on sale for queen size, like $34.99 or $35 for a, a set of queen size sheets. We've got so many things over there, and it keeps us going. It keeps us going in this fight. And I can't thank everybody enough, uh, Steve, I did your audience. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to think. We have over 200 products, everybody. We have sleepwear, loungewear. But my, the sandals were caught in the uh, season end here with the sandals. They're $19.98. Um, but we have, if you think you have all the my pillow products, you don't. Blankets on sale, dog beds, dog, dog blankets. We have so many products, I don't even know them all, but every one of them has been made. <laughs> <laughs> um, with, with the consumer okay. in mind to help my, them. To, it's going to help you. So my, um, MyPillow.com, promo code WORM. I want everybody to go there. We'll be talking about it more tonight. Mike, you get back in the deposition. This no, guy is under more pressure. I'm telling you, they're coming, they're, they're coming at these guys every which way, and we're either going to stand and deliver or not. Mike Lindell, you're a patriot and a hero. Go, go back into your deposition and give them hell. Give them hell from the war room.